Brad from WPSites.net. Let's take a look at adding a slider to the header in the 2016 default theme for WordPress. Now we'll be adding the code for the slider into a child theme. That way, when the parent theme's updated, all our changes and modifications won't be lost. So this is the result. We'll have a slider which will display on the front page only, but you can easily modify the code if you want the slider to display on all pages. So there's three steps involved. The first step is to install a child theme. So you can actually down, download one from my site for 2016, or you can create one yourself. And once we've got the child theme installed, we'll copy over the header.php file from the 2016 parent theme, and we'll place that into the child theme, and then we'll add some code into that header.php file. After we've done that, um, we'll set up the uh, slider plugin. In, in this uh, example, we'll use Soliloquy, and uh, we'll create a slider, and then we'll use the sliders template tag, which we can add to the header.php file. So it's all pretty straightforward. This is fairly easy to do. And the first step is to click on this link here if you want to use my child theme and download the child theme for 2016. So here it is here. Let's just download this. Okay, and we'll install this. So we'll upload this to the WP content folder inside the themes directory. So let's just transfer this over to the themes directory. And you'll need the parent theme installed. So we've already got this installed, now we can install the, the child theme. So let's just scroll down and find the child theme. 2016 child. So we'll activate it and there's the child theme. Now we'll just open up the child theme folder and what steps do we need to take? Let's just go back to the tutorial. Second step, copy over the header.php file. So let's go into the parent theme, find 2016 and we'll find the header.php file. Here it is here. Copy the header.php file and we'll just paste this into the, the root directory of the 2016 child theme. Now, what we need to do now is install a slider. I've already installed Salilakai and I've added a new slide and I've already added the images and uh, here it is here and it creates a template tag. Now this creates a, an ID for the slider 7 to 8 so that'll be different in your case. So we need to add this code for that slider's template tag into the header.php file. So here's the code here. We'll just click the view raw link to grab the code and we'll paste that in to the header.php file. Now, which position do we paste it into? If we look back at the tutorial, it tells us where to paste it. So we'll just click this image. And here it is here, about line 44. So we go down to 44, just under the site brand, brandy and closing tag. So we'll paste it in there. And this code, this specific code, only displays the slider on the first page of the front page or home page. So if there's any paginated pages on the front page, it won't display the slider there and it won't display the slider on any other pages other than the, the first page of the, the front page. So let's just go back now, take a look, and here we have it. So there's the slider, and uh, let's just go down to the archives. We'll go on page two. Page two, it doesn't display. So it's as simple as that. 
If you want to display it on all pages, the instructions are in the tutorial. You can just remove this part of the code or you can change that is front page conditional tag. So we'll just remove that. Reload. Now we'll check all the other pages and you see it displays on every single page. So that's all there is. It's pretty straightforward. Um, you'll find more information on uh, WPSites.net if you look for the post add slider to header in 2016 child theme. Thanks for watching and see you next time on WPSites.net.